it's your boy boom Derek and as you see by the title forget people you know what I mean by forget people let's get into it real quick so here's the backstory on it okay and I think we've all been in this position before or in this situation so one of my close friends is very talented and very good at what he does and he has some really big news coming out and I saw on his social media that he might not even put out that news and I was wondering and I messaged him I was like bro why aren't you gonna put it out like I want to know what you're so hyped about like it makes me happy to see that you got things moving in your life you know what I'm saying like if it's important to you it's important to to the people on here on on your social media like we're gonna support you no matter what he told me you know what I think I hyped it up too much I don't think people are gonna think it's a big deal like I think it's a big deal and they're gonna message me saying that it's not really a big deal it's not that important and I started thinking I was like man I felt like that before especially me like putting out videos especially the ones for the youth convention like those are the ones that I'm always hyped about putting out because I enjoy making those videos and aside from this point I'm gonna make I take pride in my videos because I'm self-taught no one taught me how to edit no one taught me what software to use no one taught me nothing except you know YouTube videos to learn how to transition stuff like stuff like that but I have put on my Facebook and on snapchat some similar news as far as like yo wait for this video it's gonna be good you're gonna like it I hope you enjoy it I put time into it and when it gets to the point of me putting it out there in the past I've had some people say well I think you know this is good but it's not the best you know or I don't know why you hyped it up that much and I know what he's going through cuz I've gone through it too and at that point that's just people hating on whatever you're doing and they're hating that they see that you are happy doing this like you enjoy doing this and I just want to tell you, forget those people, like forget them. If they want to be toxic in your life, and there's going to be haters every single day of your life. You might not see them or hear of them, but they're lurking in the back. And they're hating on, one, how happy you are. Two, that God bless you with some talent, whether it's producing, editing videos, being an amazing sports athlete. Like people are going to hate, and that's never going to stop. And me learning, there will always be haters. I can't let them affect my life like that because one, I know that this plan can lead me because I know this talent can lead me to my future and the next plan in my life. And I want you to know to all of you guys, you guys have a plan since the day you were born and even before that, God already had a plan for you in your life and what you were going to do. And it's hard to think that because I know a lot of us have gone through situations that we feel we're just stuck in one place, in one job, in one scenario in life. And trust me being 100% with you guys being real I felt like that and there's times where I still feel like that where I feel like I wake up go to work come home wake up go to work come home and it's the same thing over and over and it bothers me because I'm like I see so many other people and maybe it's social media being deceiving but I see so many other people so happy living a good life on the beach relaxing or in Italy or in Hawaii you know what I'm saying and and me I'm like I'm stuck here I'm paying a car bill I'm paying full covering insurance etc etc i'm paying bills and it's like damn I, I get left with money for gas you know stuff like that and and me being someone that believes in god i forget and i become a hater god why does this person even get to do all this stuff i work hard i know i bust my you know at work every single day sweating getting hurt getting cuts making sure everybody's satisfied but i see no progression i see no outcome to all this and i forget in jeremiah 29 11 he says for i know the plan that i have for you they are plans for good and not disaster to give you a future and a hope so god from the beginning has already had a plan for me he has a plan for you and it's for good you know and it's to set up our future and all i want to say is to continue to grind in whatever you're doing if it's video games. If you want to pursue a professional career in video games, people are making hundreds of thousands of dollars on it. So it's not stupid if, you, if you're thinking that, all right? If you want to pursue that, if you want to pursue videotography like I do, hopefully one day, I don't know how I'll do it, and I don't even know if it's God's plan for me, but one day I hope I could travel the nation or travel certain states to do youth conventions, you know, to, to record youth conventions and just put a montage together and put it out there so people who went to that convention and 
and had a great time and, and were blessed can go back and see the great time that they had and reminisce on oh that speaker was amazing this band moved the crowd this preacher really touched my heart and that's why i put these back-to-back -back years the nico conference and the pentecost conference because i wanted to go back to the place where it made me the happiest where it made me like nothing can stop me because i was in the presence of god you know it, it took me back to a place where i had a great time and a great experience and that is what i want to do for many people and hopefully one day i can create my own i don't know my own thing where, where i can do that and i get invited to conventions you know and get invited to events like that so i can put stuff out there and i know i'm gonna have people who are gonna hate and say that it's not good and say that i shouldn't even try no more because trust me i'm not the best by means i'm not the best there's so many more people that are certified to do this and that have taken classes for videography and that have way better equipment than i do but i do because i enjoy it because it makes me happy and because i've had people message me from those conventions saying wow thank you you're the only one that i found that put out content on this convention i thought i was never going to remember it snapchat can do so much a mini video can do so much they go but your video is one of my favorites because i can reminisce and i can say man i was there and i've seen myself on your videos you know i've gotten messages and that made me happy i know there's gonna be people hating and i know there's gonna be people trying to bring me down and trying to take my joy away but i'm not gonna let that happen because you and i we were created by god himself whether you believe that or not i do and we all have a purpose on this life and some of us do go through more than others and God puts you through certain circumstances so you can reach the lost ones, the ones that don't understand why they're going through it, but you can be there and be their light. Like forget the people that bring you down and try to bring others down. Just be that light for someone and continue to shine. Continue to put out your joy, your array of joy, and block out those haters, you know? That's what you gotta do. And, and I know it's hard, and for my more advanced Christians or believers in God, let's not let's not say Christians, believer in God. If you believe in God, that's great. You don't have to put a title on religion or anything like that. But if you believe in God and believe in Jesus Christ, it's cool. But for my believers out there, my advanced ones, let's try the Matthew 544. You know what Matthew 544 is? It's probably the hardest thing to do because this is what it says. But I say, this is God talking, but I say love your neighbors and pray for those who persecute you if you don't know what persecute means because i know it's a little hard trust me i had to look it up so i'm not the smartest apple on the tree if that's the saying or whatever but persecute means to be hostile or ill treatment that's what it means so people that are hating on you people that wish bad upon you people that talk down to you and say that you're not talented when you really are and you're not the best football player when you really are because you put time, you put effort, and you enjoy playing that sport. And you enjoy making beats. And you enjoy videotography. And that's the hardest thing to do because why would you want to pray for those who are hostile towards you, who want to see you fail? But that just makes you a better person. That makes you grow as a person because you're wishing nothing but the best for someone who wishes nothing but the worst for you. And it makes you grow with God if that's what you're trying to do in in your spiritual move and if you're not it makes you a better person when you wish nothing but the best for that person or you pray nothing but blessings for that person so all i want to say and all this video was about is not to actually forget that person and not kick them out your life right it's more to block out that person's negativity and then use that negativity to further yourself in your talents, in your plans, and in your future. Because once you have your future and you enjoy doing whatever it is that you do and that person sees you happy, all you can do is smile at them and say thank you for the motivation and move on and be that bigger person. And hope that they're doing well and blessed as well and satisfied with their future instead of worrying about others. So forget the people that are hating and pray for them and wish them nothing but the best and continue to strive for your dreams. I know it was a lot of rambling and trust me, I've done this video three times trying to think of how to say it, but this last one, I just let it flow and I let it come from my heart and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it reached some of you guys and I thank you for 
always being here for me. And the people that think that it is stupid that I'm putting videos out on YouTube and stuff like that, well, it's all good, brother and sister. I'm gonna continue to do it because I like editing. I like putting videos out on the internet. I like gaming and putting it out there because me and my cousins and my friends have a good time doing it and it's gonna continue to happen. So whether you like it, thank you for staying around. And if you don't like it, go ahead and leave a thumbs down and get the fluff out of here, all right? Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Stay blessed, God bless, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.